This is a certified hood classic. What's poppin' family? Is your country cousin here? The host with the most create a flow. So grateful in the building. I hope y'all doing good. I hope y'all doing straight. And come on now. Come on now. You know you like that intro. You know you like that intro. It's that real deal right here. No EA Sports need to be in the game because we already in the game. You feel me? This is what we getting down to today. You already know. And if you don't know, I'm finna inform you. Mississippi State, yes. We are back at it again with Mississippi State as the first game of the season. Revenge game? Yes, most definitely. Matter of fact, this is gonna be the best game of the season. Okay, I'm wrong. I actually don't know, because I ain't played that through yet. Now, if you must know, I have been making changes to my YouTube page. Yes, I have been premiering games ahead of time. And what I mean by ahead of time, I mean by literally as soon as I upload it, download it, and switch it over to YouTube and all that, I am instantly premiering the channel videos. I'm not going to say, oh, I create this, all this, and all that. No, 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 no. You're not doing that. Straight to premieres. Straight to premieres and nothing else. But real quick, as you know, Cause I'm gonna leave this up in the background as y'all can read it or so if y'all need to, or unless y'all want to, y'all don't gotta read the shit. Um, starting off, um, cause I do kind of want to make this clear. I'm not gonna make those direct changes to my secondary character, Demarcus Jackson. When it comes to the intro and the promo videos and stuff like that, I won't be doing that necessarily until like the second half of the season. Because I pretty much got a lot of gameplay already pretty much ready to go. I just got to go through and edit everything out, process it and make sure everything is good. Don't got to worry about anything. But uh, man, I mean, let's get you caught up, man. Let's get you caught up. So we back here again with the second season. And yes, Miami got punished. Now, I did explain that in the offseason um, preview, pretty much, with the spring game. That Miami basically got sanctions. They wasn't playing by the rules or anything like that. That's, of course, that's what the news gazette says. But yeah, no, there was a lot of other teams, too, that I, that I also showed in the previous video. Um, Man, it was... It was downright pandemonium. Like, you couldn't even catch teams doing it right. And these people won the national championship, dog. Crazy. Crazy. Sorry, cuzzo. Your team broke the rules, 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 rules. All right, all right, all right. Real talk, though. Let's show you this trophy case again, man. Come on now. Psych, no, I'm playing. We're not going to do that. What we will do is this. And by this, I mean, we're going to get you into the ratings between two teams. And seeing that right now, it's technically very, very, very evenly matched. All right, all right, I'm wrong. I'm lying. Even though we are technically higher ranked than Mississippi State, we are technically not better than Mississippi State. We do not have the official weapons on defense the way that they do. Of course, as you can see, we had a C. And the only reason why we had a B on offense is because my character is a 96. And my wide receivers are like a 94, 95. Yeah. That's it. But overall, as a team, we're our B minus. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Really? Really? But this is a competitive game, though. It, it is a competitive game. I'm not going to hold you. But enough of all of that, though, man. Let's get you into the prime. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. The 
the heat may be a factor in today's game with the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Memphis Tigers. Welcome to the first week of the college football season. Opening day is always filled with miraculous plays and bitter defeats. And here come the Tigers. I think this thing's a toss-up. We've got two teams today that can really get it done on both sides of the ball. Memphis has a guy wide receiver that oh, everybody's yeah. talking about and for oh, good yeah. reason. He's the strength of this offense, an offense that can really spread the ball around. Lee, watch for him to come up big in this one. I'm smelling something, and it's an upset. I'm picking the bulldog. Hey, yo, what the All fuck? All right, you heard it from Lee Corso himself. We'll see how that pick pans out. In the meantime, let's go down to the coin toss. Revolves around the play of this guy at linebacker. What do you think of this kid, Lee? Brad, this kid really excels at linebacker. He's very fast, physical, and has great range to get to the ball carry. Overall, this kid is a wonderful athlete and should have a huge impact on this game. You're right, Coach. This guy is the heart and soul of this defense, and I think he'll have a great game as well. Number two, the lone back. Fakes to the back. Surveys the field. He rolls out to the right. Washington what? comes in. And he's all the way down the to fuck? the 41. It looked like they might have been on the play fake that time. Yeah, but you got to give the credit to the quarterback here. Not only does he sell the run, but he delivers a beautiful ball that time. All the receiver had to do was watch it in his hands. Great throw. It's first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Washington comes to the line with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Oh, he's on the the <laughs> <He's at> the <laughs> and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? Yeah, that was a good call. I like that call. I like short passes. They're safe and can lead to some really good yardage. Washington lines up with four wideouts. Washington hits the give, and he tackles him hard. Line up at the 33. Third and a couple. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. They'll try to get the free. And he hits him hard at the 37. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He just went right through him. Who was supposed to block that guy? I don't think it matters, Kirk. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Number two, alone in the backfield. Washington drops back to pass. Across the middle. He's stupid. Pass. The defense stopped it. First, first down. Memphis sets up with four receivers. Washington sets up the play action. Across the middle. Dang. Incomplete pass. Number 13 looks to have been shaken up a bit. He needs court. some milk. Help me. Help me. Nigga. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 34. The Bulldogs bring in the nickel package. Rolls to the left. He'll take it himself. That is exactly why this kid is so tough to defend. You bet he is. He's faster than some of the receivers. It's first down. Number two lines up as a single back. He's tackled at the 47. Number two gets about four yards on the play. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball right around midfield. Three wideouts here. And down he goes at the 46. A one-yard gain by the halfback. From the 46-yard line, third and five. The Bulldogs line up with six defensive backs. He looks. He throws a dart to the left. Nope. Broke away from one. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. And Herbie, that was a good-looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost perfect strike. Good-looking play. 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 24. They'll work from the shotgun. Look at the throw. Down the middle. Complete. Whoa! He just took a look at it. That was a laser, Kirk. This guy has a huge arm. Yeah, it's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. Second down. Memphis goes with the ace set here. He's got to throw it in a hurry. And this one's broken up. Number 18 was the intended target on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Washington comes to the line with three wide. They'll go with a run once again. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. Great penetration in the backfield. For such a big guy, this guy's got some really quick feet. Once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong, it is almost impossible to block with one guy. Play action. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. It's first down. Mississippi State lines up in a dime defense here. Drop back to pass. He snags it. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Loss of about two. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Tiger line up with trips left. Drops back to pass. He's rolling right, looking. No, sir. Just throws this one away. From the 49-yard line, we've got third and 12. Going with the shotgun here. Washington, back to throw. He's rolling left, throws it. And he brings it down. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't the coach? Oh, yeah, this offensive coordinator must have seen something the defense really like. It's first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Tiger come out showing three wide. Sack for a loss at the 31-yard line. 31-yard line. It's second down. The Tiger, come out the shotgun, looks to pass. He rolls out to the left. He throws it. Complete, and he's tackled right away. A good pick up that time. Yeah, and one of the things that can really open up this offense is their ability to complete these types of medium-range passes. You're right. That and the ability to run the ball consistently. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Rolls to the right, throws it out there, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Memphis comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Washington makes a handoff. He's going to go for the home run. Really, nigga? They'll get the ball here at the 12. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. They line up at the 17. It's second down and five to go. Washington back to throw. Looks. Washington, plenty of time. And he throws it away. From their own 17-yard line, it's third and five. Washington lines up with four wideouts. Washington drops to throw, rolling out to the right side. He zips it out to the right, finds his receiver, and he's hit immediately. Defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignment. That gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass and pick up the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. The Tiger with four receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Looks, rolling out to the left side. He flings it. And he brings it down. 
He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. The Tigers are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. First down. Memphis comes out in the shotgun. Spin move, and he is drilled at the 44-yard line. And they're going the wrong way, Coach. Hey, Fred, if you don't have offensive balance, you can't keep the defense off of you. He may have changed things up here. Washington set to go to the air. Rolls right. He's at the now. And they got him. Memphis will take their second time out of the half. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. On the deuce. On the deuce. Big dog. Big dog. Washington drops back. He's looking. Look out. He gets another, and this is a big one. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. I didn't see what happened. He on the needs play. some milk. You can only hope Help this me. guy's able to shake Help it off and get back me. into the game. Nigga! First and ten. Ace backfield. Really, nigga? Sack for a loss at the 31-yard line. Memphis will take their last time out. It's second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. He rolls left. Washington guns it over the middle. Found his man. And he's all the way down to the three. And with that last throw, he's now gone over 200 yards in the half. Here's the 11th play of the drive. It's power football time, folks. Again with a carry. They'll knock him down for a loss. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Number two, the lone back. Washington with a nice play fake. Looks. There he goes. Touchdown, Memphis. Good call by the quarterback who decided to do it himself. I'll tell you what, I think this kid is making it up as he goes along. He made a touchdown on that. Washington drops back on first down, lets it fly, has it to the senior. Impressive catch there to stay in bounds and pick up the first down. That's great field awareness because those are not easy catches to make. No, they're not. You have to locate the sideline, locate the ball, then make the catch. And when you have defenders running after you from all angles, it makes it all the more difficult. Line up with three wide. Drops back on first down. Looking. He's rolling left. He lets it fly. Catches it. And they make the stop at the 22-yard line. The pass results in a first down. I'll tell you, great call by the coaches on first down. It stretches the defense when they're expecting the run, and then they end up with another first down. It's first and ten. The Tigers are lining up with three receivers. On the delay, they'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. Second and nine, ball on the 21-yard line. Memphis comes out in the shotgun. Cut! 
Washington steps back to pass. He's going right. He snags it. Tackle at the 18-yard line. They completed it, but for a minimal gain. It's not much, but at least it's positive yards. Look for this quarterback to make a play here. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. He rolls out to the right. Breaks one. Just throws this one away. It's first down. Mississippi State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. And he's hammered as he lets it go. And it's caught. Brought down at the 44-yard line. There's an injured player on the field. It looked like he took a pretty good shot on that play. I think he'll be up and running again in no time. And that's the end of the game. Kirk, any final thoughts here? Well, this one really could have gone either way. Mississippi State had plenty of chances to win this football game, but it wasn't meant to be today. All you can do now is try to bounce back after a close loss like this. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Memphis 40, Mississippi State 34. I'm Brad Nessler, along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. I'd like to thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time. So, as you can see, man, here we are. ESPN Classic. And, uh, man, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed this game, man. It was a good game. It was a good game from start to finish, man. Um, quarterback number seven came in, did this thing, even though I thought it was going to be number 13. Um, I was thoroughly surprised by that. Thoroughly. Thoroughly surprised. Because I ended up getting hurt. Quarterback number seven actually came in, which kind of threw me off. I'm gonna look at that roster in a little bit uh, in the next video. But for now, let's go ahead and get you focused on this. As you can see, I missed the quarterback rating by a couple of points. A couple of points, dog. All I needed was either 10 more yards or um, two more completions, or I would have needed a touchdown to raise it up to 160. But, bro. Pretty decent game. I got sacked three times though. I ain't like that shit. Um, I, I tried to get. I tried to get it going, man. I tried. I tried. I, Fourteen attempts, dog. Negative seven. Crazy. But um, I mean overall though, man. I mean, we did I. I, I won't say we did the greatest. We did I. For when I was out there, we did I. Try again. Try getting things going. It really didn't work smoothly. But of course, this is Mississippi State. Ain't nothing gonna work smoothly as you always plan it to be. Um, of course, you know, even a fullback got a touchdown. But fullback and wide receiver one, of course, they both left the touchdowns. Uh, defense pretty, had a pretty decent night. Archie was doing all right, man. Of course, you know, the free safety. He's always gonna have an interception. He's a defensive captain for a reason. And uh, man, kick return was pretty decent. And, of course, this man came Ray with a touchdown, bruh. And that's what ended up giving us a lovely, lovely, lovely boost. But, uh, they didn't punt at all, though. Like, they did not punt at all. But, hey, hey, man, you know what? That's the end of the video, man. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your gratitude. Take care of yourself. Take care of your peoples. Watch your surroundings. You already know. Mind your motherfucking business. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love.